Vision is one of our most precious senses, and we take it for granted because we open up our eyes and we just sort of function, just like we take for granted our breathing and our heart beating. And it's not until we're afflicted with a health issue that it makes us think. Macular degeneration is the number one cause of new blindness in Americans over age 65. The macula is this one millimeter area in the center of your retina that's responsible for the sharpness of your vision. Anything that affects the macula affects your vision. There are many different symptoms that can be attributed to macular degeneration. Some people will complain that walls have curves to them. Other people who have a hemorrhage will complain that they can't read a line across because there's a blockage, there is a black spot. Victor, one of our patients today, was able to notice the subtle change in his vision very early on. And that's what led him to his primary ophthalmologist, who then saw the problem, the leakage under the retina, and sent him to me for evaluation for the wet form of macular degeneration. Today, we are lucky enough to have medications that can be injected into the eye that can stop the bleeding and leakage from the wet form of macular degeneration. These treatments are not cures, but require ongoing therapy. But the alternative clearly is significant irreversible vision loss. The injections are done very gently with minimal discomfort. The needle that we use is the smallest needle in use in medicine today. As an ophthalmologist, as a retina specialist, I'm privileged to do what I do. It is a blessing and it's a gift that I appreciate every day. I have the opportunity to change people's lives on a daily basis. Nothing is more rewarding than the exclamation from a patient in the chair, hey, I see you. I can see my hand for the first time. Or my God, I can see something that I didn't see before because you've changed somebody's life in a meaningful way that's tangible. To me, there's nothing more fulfilling than that.